All right, um, welcome back again. So, I, I don't know what part this is. I think this is part five, maybe four or five, I don't know. Uh, but, what I'm gonna do first is this one, I believe. The Beast Wars Chips. After I'm done with the Beast Wars Chips, I'm gonna go to the Decepticon ones because it's farther down the line. Um, now, quite unfortunately, I can't do this one 10 at a time just yet because I accidentally, when I wanted to click the question mark to see what's in here, I accidentally unlocked one of them. So I'm gonna do nine of these first, and then I'm gonna go 10 at a time, all right? So, starting now. Um, typically unlocking this many crystals, it's about a half hour. It's really sad, but it is what it is type of thing. Um, how would this work out? Um, so I'm fairly close to another five star crystal. And if by chance I get, um, a G metal core, I will strongly <laughs> look into getting one of the, their, one of the Beast Wars 5 star guys. Um, reason being, of course, is, you know, it's better to get a, a strong guy stronger. Now from here, let's do 10 at a time. Um, I have a handful of five star um, guys. Uh, enough to make, you know, I think like two good war teams, uh, alliance war teams, which I, of course, I use, right? Um, but along with those two to three really good war teams, I have some strong four stars. So what's better, right? Is it um, a strong, you know, getting kind of like a repeated transformer, getting that five star version because that's gonna yield a stronger war team asset. It'll take a little time, but thankfully you know I have XP stored up and enough um uh what do you call it? Enough um Z Energon to get some XP to train these guys up. So what would just end up happening is I wouldn't be able to use um the new guy for maybe a couple of weeks, right? Like it would take one day to crank him up to 40. Um, and then three days to get him to 50, and then what, six days to get him to, uh, within the 50, right? Did I do that right? Like from 30 to 40 is one day, from 40 to 50 is three days, and after I get him out of the 50 upgrade is when I start using them. Um, so... With some of that <laughs> fuzzy math, uh, I would ask, how would it work out, right? Like, I use a four-star warpath in wars, and I use a four-star strength in wars. Would it be better to get their five-star version? Um, I, uh, you know what? That simple question gets a simple answer of yes. Yeah. The hard part is, you know, going into their uh, legacy batch and, and you know, like, betting 20% chance on getting who you want. Um, I think in the Warpath bundle, batch, the only person I really don't want is RC, but they've, um, they've updated her, they balanced her, or whatever you want to call it, they've, um, re-looked at her a handful of times, so she's not, um, you know, the worst hologram person, uh, like she used to be, but me personally, I like to get my five stars to, you know, special ability 10 or 11 as soon as possible and 
that's, that's a heavy investment to, me. <laughs> to get um, RC back high uh, would take a while. Uh, I, I think the, um, you know, would she be a good, you know, uh, special ability seven in wars? No, <laughs> not at all. Uh, in a regular, you know, like, um, battle, yeah, no problem. But um, it's it's a little bit of a hard call. Um, but I think uh, I, I think I might be either going to that legacy batch that Warpath is in, or I'm going to that new recent batch that has um, Strength, because uh, he's the one I want. And in that batch is also Six Gun, Minerva, um, the Shattered Glass version of Jetfire, and Dino Bot. I do not consider. I know people will not like what I'm going to say, but like using uh, Dinobot and um, Shatterglass Jetfire in wars. I, I, I sell. I don't really think I've seen anybody come at me with a war. I've seen them in like regular battles, but I've never seen them in a, in a war. And after Minerva. That one's a little bit weird. I think the only reason we see so much of her is because um, everyone who's getting her is just trying to max her quickly. Because the last time we got a medic was who knows how many years ago. So that that one is, um, is a little, I guess, a uh, uh, a little bit of a dilemma. And whoever I end up uh, getting, uh, with a small hope, small hope that uh, Windstrike can go on there, because she is, or if he, I don't know, um, that specific combat boss was the latest 5 star bot I got. I'd love to, you know, uh, gamble on getting Windstrike for Windblade. Uh, but that bat, I think, has uh, either Ratchet or Real Jack. And I wonder if one of the batches has a medic in. Um, a lot of people, I think, will disagree with what I'm about to say, but I don't want a medic. A medic um, isn't what really um, turns the tide of war. Uh, defensive people that have shields and, um, and health aren't the ones that are going to win a battle at the end. What you need are strong offensive characters. Uh, the best defense is a strong offense from what I think. Um, uh, there will be plenty of examples where I'm proving wrong. I got you. You know? Uh, but personally, you know, like when, when you look at like um, statistics, averages, things like that, um, I think that more offense makes you a stronger uh, attacker, and that's what you want in these battles. You want strong offensive attackers, you know? Um, I remember, for the longest time, my base would not survive two medics in the team. It drove me crazy. Because I would see, like, them, you know, like, them deploy the, uh, the eight people against my base, and I'm like, ah, doesn't bother me at all. And then all of a sudden when I look and I see two medics, I'm like, ah, oh, okay, I'm not going to do Um, and, um, that was going on for a, a, a while, then it died down, and now I see it again, but my base is... You know, now it has more um, maxed out G metal cores, and I've uh, you know tweaked the design a little bit. So now, even with like two medics, they don't really survive. I think like, like the 30,000 K teams don't survive. It's the ones that are like 33K and higher. They're the ones that do end up, um, you know, beating me. Uh, lower it is, of course, the closer it is. But <laughs> Whether it's, you know, barely one or the whole team survive, 
a loss is a loss, right? Okay. Now, one thing I don't specifically like about unlocking 10 cores or, uh, or even like this type of bundle is that I have to keep my finger on the screen uh, or you know, I'm pointed to the screen so I can hit the okay to move on. I, I think I did get a G-Metal Gold Disc. Um, and I have the 2, 3, and 4 star versions of Optimal Optimus. Um, I, I don't think I have anybody from the uh, Cheetor batch. But I do have everybody but Rhinox in his Legacy Batch. So uh, I do have the option to just 100% no guarantee I can get him. Uh, and when I see you know, some people posting on the Facebook groups about getting the 5 star version of him, uh, they say a lot of good things, you know, and uh, he's war worthy. That's what I didn't hear. I'm like, wow, him in a war. Um, team. I mean, I specifically haven't seen it, but that still says a lot. <coughs> I think his, um, his opposite is Tarantulas. I have Tarantulas on my, uh, secondary account, with the 5 star version of him. And, um, he's not bad. Um, I guess when I, I because I have him on the same team as, um, Megatron, a Beast Wars Megatron that is, I don't take him as seriously because both of them can, you know, like, get a certain distance and me personally I do like to um, wake up outposts, so they both serve that purpose, um, just so I guess turning into, you know, that straight line plus a, like a, a healing web, same thing with um, uh, Rhinox, uh, it, that does have its benefit. I gotta double check if they have um, a uh, ability 11. That should also kind of um, sway my vote. Right? And that, that does change things right there. This is what changes, or I'm sorry, really sways my vote. Um, that G Metal Core. Alright, if he also has an ability 11, I think I'm gonna go with my guaranteed line now. But I would love to work out. Oh, another thing I would love? A G Metal uh, Optimus, uh, Optimus Primal Core. If you can give me that, I'll be happy.
<laughs> it's funny, I'm like looking up RC because she's the uh, one I'm just in fear of getting. Um... Oh, so if I get RC to <laughs> ability 11, he is Rook. Right? Um... The Nikoi, the hologram, uh, disables defenses and explodes at zero health, stunning targets in the area. Which is pretty much a look at that point. changes things. Does he have an ability 11 too? Still 
Let's look at the percentages of this thing one more time. Uh, golden disc. It's not really. Let's see. I don't even care about the four star um, combat bot. What I care more about is um, getting a G Metal Optimus Primer Core. Flank jacket with a flank jacket instead of um, a human ability. Oh, what happened there? Right now. So right now I don't, I'm not getting any, um, um, any combat spark. The only, really, the really good thing coming from this is like, I can put like gold cores on the lower guys. Uh, but there's no reason to put a gold core on a lower guy to be honest. I don't do enough, um, elimination mode. Care about the little guys, um, and I, I'd rather use the gold core, uh, melt it down, and increase another person's gold core, to melt the core, instead of giving the gold core to like a, a two-star bot. Make sense? Um, Maybe I can do the like 40 cores, 40 um, beast wars chips. It'll just turn into like a 50 minute stream though. Oh, 
Oh boy, I've been reading that, for, that's been posting for a while. You have over 5,000 power cores. Alright, so right after this one I have to start fusing some, I guess. When it comes to, you know, smelting them and putting them together, I'm not gonna do that on, on the video recording. Yeah. <laughs> that prompt has been there for, I don't even know how long, I wasn't paying attention. That's sad. Uh. Uh. Hopefully I didn't lose. Unfortunately I have to look. Um. Bot specific. Alright, they're there. Alright, so let's... Actually, hold that thought. Uh, select a bot specific. I already have one. That's, uh, I'd rather get the stronger one stronger. Um, and now I'm gonna go to the bottom to get rid of all those uh, silvers. Sorry to, to do this one. Actually, let me see how far down I can go. 5,000. <laughs> so all those, um, what is it, um, energons that, uh, we get during the events, like the ones I've been holding on to, I guess I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, and I wasn't paying attention, use it here. If it wasn't for that prompt, I would have held on. Um, actually, I'm um, already that high. Why not? Um, let's go all the way to the bottom. I can't even do anything about. Like, if they start counting the, the base defense cores, like I wouldn't even know what to do, you know? Like, I guess I'm just gonna, like, have to smelt it into other worthless ones, you know? Um, who's next? Do I have another five star to max? Timing, 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 timing. Yeah, if I got a Rodimus or a, or a Hot Rod, I have enough cores for them. Maybe I should get a Sunstreaker since I got two of his. Um, go back to bot specific. Do him. Um, not sure if I'd ask them to like, hey, can you increase the cap? Because they even, somebody even asked that on the stream. I think it was like last year. They could increase the crap, uh, the cap, and I think Hiram said no. 
Like, no, just start melting things. <laughs> it's so easy to say, you know? But with these caps in place, it kind of... kind of hurts, you know? Okay, I think I've gone... Oh, I can't do that one. So now this stream was, or uh, you know, this, uh, this video was like, what, four more minutes than, four more minutes longer than I expected. Uh, I wonder how much farther it's gonna go. Get out of there. If I just went in here first and did that, I would've probably gotten it. All right, now let's, let's finish up what we were doing. Let's go back in here. Still have 5,000? Optimus is um, a gold. It's max out 15, so uh, taking it off and putting just a if you metal one on it is gonna make him a little weaker for the short term. But stuff like this is why I kinda, you know, like like I'll post, like, hey, can you make a trading system? And I don't want to trade with my teammate or some rando, you know, I know that causes problems. Uh, you know, scammer gets scammed, that type of nonsense. But, you know, like, put, Mc, you know, put McAdams in the game. Let me exchange, you know, 20 of my cores for, you know, 20 silver for 5 gold, you know? 50 gold for 1 G metal. You know, it at least helps. So initially I wanted to put the, um, I don't know, I don't know yet. Quick, he's a uh, forty-one ninety-nine. Let's see what happens. No, no. Would have liked to have seen the before and after, but I'm going to go directly to cranking him up. Just got to get to the bottom. I did not think I was. I gotta admit, I, I thought it was maybe close to 5,000. I didn't think I was over 5,000. You know, just as a Dragon Ball joke, they should 
you know, crank the cap to 9,000. Uh, I'm gonna just stop at 15, just to see, am I, no, I'm not at 15 yet, just to see how strong that, oh, look at that one. so he's at 15, alright, let's see, I'm just curious if he's still at, uh, you know, 41.99. I feel like because that's a G metal one, he should be stronger than 4199, even though they were both at level 15. But I am curious. Let's see. Uh, where is 41? Where is he? Am I blind? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's stronger now. 42. Yeah, okay, that's not too bad. As long as he's stronger. Uh, let me add on to that with the 1400 really quick. Activated. And like, the worst part of this is, right? Like, I wouldn't mind, you know, double down and playing even more to get rid of these cores. But I have nothing to really put the uh, alloy into, you know? Um, oops, way too much, right? <laughs> Got carried away. Um, like right now I don't have my shield, but you know, four million to shield is not that big of a deal. Um, after that, then it's what, you know? Um, opening the other crystals until I can do something with my existing ones. Uh, so we're still on by tens, right? Yeah. Another way to make people stop, you know, buying stuff. Uh, Power cords that he did both offense and defense. So I don't need another uh, G Metal Cheetor, but I will take another G Metal Optimus Final and uh, um, Minus, like one of the four stars.
Silver into the gold, so you know, that, that doesn't even translate correctly. All right, so I'm gonna do. Um, let me let me fuse some of the. Uh, I'll fuse them separately. Let me do these uh, uh, air razor and um, rat trap crystals really quick. So this one's done is where I'll kill this video and then move on to the next. I think I'll get another five star in this session. Um, doesn't make sense if I did. I mean, it, <laughs> I'd be happy, but it would have to be like tons and tons of four star dupes, dupes to hit five thousand again. I, I think uh, what was I at, at the end of it? I was at two thousand, and that was after uh, opening up like what six hundred eighty chips. Meanwhile. I only got 40 something here, and even if the same thing happens with the Decepticon back, I don't think I'll hit 5,000. Um, if I'm really lucky, I'll get into the fours, but I don't think I'll hit five. Ooh, I didn't mean that. They were too close to each other. <laughs> Whoopsie. So, this was meant for another screen. This is like the Squeaky Bundle. And of course, it was the five-star shard one. <laughs> All right, so they were like a similar color and a similar number. <laughs> that was my own mistake. Uh, there goes the stream for you. You know, um, I was gonna do that like, I don't know, like sixth or seventh. I think it's like two other clicks, right? I think it's a quick click. Um, while this one comes up, let me... I have, uh... I don't know if anybody else does this. Uh, because this is my favorite game, and they have a live stream, I keep, like, a list of suggestions. Um... Uh, 
Mm -hmm. one and from here after this is where I will let everyone go this is one of those uh, longer streams unfortunately but uh, I will start up another one because I you can see right here I have many more chips to unlock and crack open so I do want to thank you guys for joining me for this video and catch you on the next one thank you again